assalamu alaikum dear students uh, welcome to thin film technology course lecture number 15 i'm dr purvez ahmed and this lecture uh, we will discuss about uh, thin film depositions uh, and thin film depositions uh, we will discuss about two more uh, depositions uh, types uh, that is uh, uh, some special type of the chemical vapor deposition technique so let's proceed towards uh, the detailed discussions about uh, different types of the cvd techniques so in the first sections, uh, we will discuss about a uh, plasma enhanced chemical vapor deposition techniques. Uh, we already have some discussions, uh, but that discussion was not in so details. Uh, that's why uh, we have uh, these lectures. Uh, that is, we will give some details uh, uh, about plasma enhanced uh, chemical vapor deposition technique. So this is the the typical sta uh, experimental setup that can be utilized for uh, plasma enhanced chemical vapor deposition technique. So just like you can see it here, uh, it's just a he heating arrangements. Uh, and the heating is normally performed via RF, uh, uh, RF heatings. And here you can see that, uh, I mean, it's different part of the, uh, the experimental setup. That is, uh, uh, we have this gas outlet and gas uh, uh, outlet pump. Uh, I mean, the gases that normally provide here, uh, that is silicon, uh, tetrahydride, and oxygen. So uh, uh, along with that, we have uh, the electrodes, uh, the wipers uh, that has been placed here. Uh, <clears throat> along with that, we, we have these heaters, and here the plasma has been generated in between the electrode. So what actually we get by these techniques? Uh, via this technique, we can get good quality film. Uh, but we remember uh, that the quality of the film that we deposit uh, by this particular technique is not as good as we can achieve by uh, a low pressure CVD or uh, atmospheric pressure CVD. Uh, so what actually we do, uh, we supplied energy by plasma. By plasma we mean that, it, uh, that we, have, we have to supply the energy by ion, uh, by ion bombardment of the film uh, that increases the film density, composition and uh, step coverage. So what we have more formally, uh, I mean, it's an informal discussion. It's, uh, I mean, how we start our uh, discussing uh, the process uh, inside the plasma enhanced uh, chemical vapor deposition technique. So, uh, normally we use RF induced plasma. I mean, uh, here you can see that it's plasma, but we remember it's been induced uh, by RF uh, inductions to transfer energy and to the reactant, uh, reactant gases. Uh, what actually happens? Uh, after that, uh, I mean, when, when, when uh, the energy is transferred into the reactant gases, so it's pump radical. It's pump radical that is uh, very reactive. And we remember the RF, uh, radio frequency, uh, is typically uh, uh, equal to 13.56 uh, megahertz for uh, plasma enhanced chemical vapor depositions uh, techniques. Uh, if you remember, uh, low temperature process, uh, I mean, it's, uh, that we discussed in the previous lectures, it basically occur at uh, temperatures uh, smaller than 300 degrees centigrade. As thermal energy is less than criticals uh, when RF energy exists. So, uh, when we utilize uh, it for depositing film on the metals and other materials uh, that cannot sustain higher temperatures, so uh, uh, in this particular technique, that is uh, atmospheric pressure chemical vapor deposition techniques uh, or uh, low pressure chemical vapor deposition techniques. Uh, and these, uh, in both of these techniques, we utilize such low temperature, uh, which gives us increased porosity uh, and poor step coverage. I mean, uh, that's uh, particularly happened with the uh, plasma enhanced. I mean, in the plasma enhanced, uh, the process they are normally been performed at lower temperatures as compared to uh, atmospheric pressures and low pressure CVD. So that that low temperatures is basically results in the increased porosity and poor step coverage uh, and uh, PA CVD techniques. So what we have further, we have surface reactions that has been uh, limited by depositions. Uh, the substrate temperatures control is important to ensure uh, the uniformity of the thin film. Uh, at low temperatures, surface, uh, surface diffusion is slow, 
uh, so one must supply kinetic energy for surface uh, diffusions uh, plasma uh, uh, what it mean it means uh, the ion bombardment provide their energy and enhance uh, step coverage so be remembered this step is of particular importance so I, uh, applying the plasma enhanced uh, CVD uh, so what we have uh, I mean we have uh, we have to perform the process at low temperature so uh, in such a conditions uh, we say that uh, sufficient diffusion energy uh, is low so what we need to do uh, we must supply kinetic energy for surface diffusions so in that particular uh, conditions we applied plasma uh, and the plasma provides that energy and enhance the step coverage uh, be remember just like other techniques uh, this techniques uh, it also has some uh, disadvantages uh, that is uh, we have uh, as a result of the plasma enhancement uh, we can have plasma damage i mean plasma can damage the sample or the quality of the thin film uh, so as a result uh, uh, the film the uh, thin film that uh, we may get by this technique uh, may not be as fair uh, as we get by other techniques so as a result uh, what the possible impurity that we can get by these techniques so often we have lots of hydrogen incorporated into uh, the film so this is one of the main, uh, I mean, disadvantage of these techniques. Uh, so uh, the process parameters uh, that's been involved in uh, plasma enhanced chemical vapor depositions uh, is contained the substrate temperatures. The substrate temperatures uh, that we already discussed is range from 100 to 300 degrees centigrade. Uh, but uh, the, the latest uh, uh, techniques uh, the, the, that is the latest apparatus uh, that is recently been developed it can go even up to 1000 degrees centigrade uh, and it's available in the markets uh, and be remember and uh, these kind of the apparatus uh, uh, I mean we can control it by external heatings uh, so it require very little heating proc uh, plasma enhanced uh, CVD process. I mean, uh, since we using uh, in these techniques, since we use plasma as enhancing elements, so this is why we can do the the reaction at a very low temperatures. The gases flow uh, uh, is normally range from uh, tens to uh, hundred uh, standard uh, cubic uh, centimeters. Uh, uh, I mean, the, the, this is the gases flow. I mean, uh, you know that in each CVD techniques, uh, we have to utilize uh, uh, the gases flow. So in this particular, uh, uh, I mean, so in this particular process, the gases flow rate should be uh, from tens to 100 SCCM. That is means a standard, uh, standard uh, cubic uh, centimeters. Uh, higher flow rates uh, can increase deposition rate and uniformity. I mean, so if we increase uh, the gases flow, so the gases flow, it can increase uh, the deposition rates and uniformity of the uh, thin film. Pressure in this particular techniques, uh, it's uh, uh, approximately equal to uh, five, uh, 50 millitar, uh, and that can be, uh, I mean, uh, 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 that can be up to five tar. I mean the pressures uh, range from 50 millitar to 5 tar. Um, so what actually it do uh, when we have this much of pressure? So it changes the energy of the ion reaching the electrode. I mean when we have this much of the pressure. So what is the role of the pressure? It basically changes the energy of the ion reaching the electrode, and it can change the deposition rate. I mean these are the uh, certain functions uh, that that can happen with the pressure. I mean when we uh, do changes in the pressures uh, so first it changes the energy of the ion reaching the electrode second uh, it can change the deposition rate uh, third uh, increases pressures uh, I mean it's when, when when we increase the pressure so increases a pressure may lead to a uh, chemical reactions and the gases uh, number four uh, effects also depend on the gas concentrations so what is the effect of the power I mean, so if we increase the power, that is from tens to hundreds watt. So what happened with the power? When we increase the power, uh, so it's affect the number of the electrons available for activations and energy of those electrons. Uh, it can happen uh, an increase power. Uh, an inc increased power may lead to chemical reaction in the gas. 
similarly, increased power uh, increases depositions rate. I mean, uh, these are the three effect. Uh, if we uh, utilize the power and if we increase the power, uh, so what actually happened with the increased power? First, we say that it affect the number of electron available for activations and the energy of those electrons. Uh, then uh, the increased power may lead to chemical reaction in the gas. Uh, similarly, the increased power increases the position rate. Similarly, if we deal with the frequency, uh, so mostly we say that uh, uh, we utilize the frequency uh, in RF induction heating uh, that is equal to 13.56 uh, megahertz. And we remember it's the same for the plasma etching and sputter deposition. I mean, this frequency normally we utilize for plasma etching and also for uh, sputter depositions. So uh, if we do changes, so what happened? Uh, the changes uh, basically results in plasma characteristic. Uh, similarly, uh, it changes ion bombardment characteristic. I mean, these are the two functions that that is that is that's related with the frequency changes. I mean, when we do the changes and the frequency, so the uh, the changes in frequency basically results uh, changes in plasma characteristic uh, and also result changes in the bombardment uh, characteristic. So this this is uh, I mean the detail we have for the plasma enhanced uh, chemical vapor deposition process and the parameters uh, that is uh, relevant and the parameter that is uh, that is if we change so how it can affect uh, the film quality or the process inside the chamber then uh, we have the high density plasma cvd that are, are in short we call that hdp uh, cvd uh, so this is the experimental the typical experimental setup uh, that's been utilized for high density plasma uh, chemical vapor deposition techniques so here you can see that uh, the process or the experimental setup, I mean, it's a bit different uh, that normally we have for the uh, other CVD uh, apparatus. Uh, so in this particular kind, you can see that here we have the magnetic coil on one side and other side of the chamber. Uh, then inside the chamber, we have the plasma. And just like any other technique, we have uh, the vapor. And that vapor is being placed on the uh, RF uh, induction heatings. That is, uh, we, we provide heating where RF induction is heating. Here we have the gas inlet and uh, this is the gas outlet that basically goes toward the uh, vacuum pump which is necessary for generation of the vacuum. And here, uh, uh, you can see it here, we can supply microwave, or microwave supply uh, with the frequency 2.45 uh, gigahertz. So this is this is something like a, a short descriptions of the experimental setups uh, involved in high density plasma uh, CVD. So what happens uh, uh, in this particular techniques? So in this particular techniques, uh, we get high uh, that that we call high density uh, plasma uh, CVD. It gives uh, dense layers, uh, for example, silicon dioxide at low temperatures. Uh, how much low? Uh, uh, as low as 150 degrees centigrade and pressures uh, that range from 1 to uh, 10 millitar uh, temperatures that can be increases to 4, uh, 400 degrees centigrade by uh, the bombardment uh, it requires separate RF uh, it means that it gives substrate biasing for the bombardment of la for plasma generations uh, electron cyclotron resonance and uh, inductivity couple uh, plasma uh, simultaneous depositions and sputtering uh, by sputtering we mean the bombardment uh, it improves uh, planarizations and filling due to a uh, professional sputtering of the uh, slope surface so uh, in this kind of particular techniques we remember it's mostly used for silicon dioxide depositions and back process uh, now uh, we have, uh, I mean, something like a comparison uh, between the, uh, or, or something like uh, a quick summary of uh, CVD reactor types. Uh, so normally, you know that mostly we utilize uh, a chamber pressures. That is, uh, chamber pressures normally we mean atmospheric pressures. So that results, uh, uh, you know that a particular kind of the uh, uh, CVD techniques, uh, low pressure CVD. Uh, so uh, then uh, you know that we, we have the reactor heatings 
So the reactor heating is basically uh, divided into two types that is hot wall and cold wall that later on uh, we will discuss that what is mean by the hot wall and the cold wall. So the reaction mechanisms uh, in reaction mechanism what actually we have and CVD technique uh, in reaction mechanism we say that we have mass transports when pressure and temperature are high. Uh, we have surface reactions when pressure and temperatures are low. So possible to switch from one to another by changing pressures and temperature. I mean this is a short uh, power uh, uh, interchanging the CVD technique. So when we have uh, the atmospheric pressure CVD, so uh, what actually we mean it we mean that plus minus mass transports lamatic region uh, plus pass diffusions minus poor step coverage uh, and if we that uh, change that uh, CVD to low pressure CVD so you know that uh, as a result we can get plus minus surface reactions rate limited uh, plus excellent uh, purity uniformity and step coverage. Uh, minus low deposition rates uh, minus require a vacuum system minus mean that uh, I mean some of the demerits of this technique. So uh, wh what mean by the cool wall uh, uh, cold wall, uh, wall it mean that uh, plus no reactions on the wall minus difficult to control the real temperatures. Heart wall uh, the demerit of the heart wall that is particle contaminations and it's required periodic cleanup. So th this is uh, something like a quick, quick summary of the CVD uh, reactor type. So that's all we have for the CVD and this lectures. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, see you in uh, other lecture with more details about uh, depositions of thin film. Till then, bye bye.